Kia ora guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another off-road trip. Um, this one is a bit more interesting, because right now I don't even know where we're going to be going off-road in. That's right, I'm just waiting on a couple mates turning up, and we're going to go hit the tracks. However, we haven't decided where yet, so once they turn up we'll have a bit of a chat. Pick one of them and uh, yeah, we'll have a great afternoon. Let's get to it. Josh is here. Matt's here. That's his truck, but it's not ready. So... We're taking two trucks today, Josh's truck and my truck. So yeah, we're gonna hit the road now. Let's get to it. So while Matt gets the gate, oh, I figured I'd better actually tell you where we decided to go. So last time we went down to Selwyn, um, which was good fun, um, we went downstream from the main road bridge. This time we're in the Selwyn again, but we've gone to Hororata. So we just drove through Hororata Township and we're about as far upstream the river as you can go. Righty. We're here. So Josh just chucks his hubs in, we're up at the river. A um, couple of people here. Um, the day. Yeah. Two degrees. There is water running here, um, but we'll still try and get upstream if possible. Yeah. Let's do this. Right, guys. So um, we made it probably 50 meters from the ford you saw us in the last clip, and we can't go any further. This hill was gnarly. I've already tried it in the comp truck, and uh, Josh can't make it, which isn't surprising because if I can't make it. The unlikely he can, so he's giving Matt a lift. I just tried cross right up there, but that is seriously deep. So Matt's gonna go do some digging, clear some boulders. I'm gonna air down to probably 15, and then we'll see how we go. It's so slippery, those rocks, it eh? It's way easier, but it's not. So, I've aired down to 15. Uh, I'll just show you the bulge. See that sidewall? So I'm gonna give it a crack, me and Matt. We cleared some big rocks from in the river itself. And Matt did a whole bunch of digging as well, so. Josh was lazy. Yeah, Josh watched. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully I'll make it up. Oh, it's so easy. No to a uh, poser shot. Okay, so what we can do, it is real narrow and scratchy. If you want to push through first, we'll see how you go. Um, I'll w walk you through it. Power down, power down. No. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Right, so we've I got my truck through there. You didn't see that, but it wasn't very exciting. 
Um, but from here, it looks nice and tight still. Agreed? Agreed. So, yeah. So we're just walking the next section because it looks pretty closed in from here and pretty still, which generally means deep. So, as you can see, kind of just looks interesting. And it's super slippery. I just fell over. Do you want a spot for him? Looks like it might get a bit deep on that side. Well, it looks like there might be a hole in front. Oh. Oh no, that's all good. Uh, Be time for me to get wet feet as well to be honest gumboots are coming off right so unfortunately me and Matt just walked it up further it gets like there which is deep and then it gets just unbelievably deep and overgrown it's just not doable so we'll have to turn around and head back I guess see I had just a little bit of water inside so that's all good with no carpets but yeah now we're gonna head back downstream because yeah there's no way we're getting any further than that unfortunately so We're just putting the guard liner back in. Well, trying to, because um, Josh has ducting that runs from here, just tucked up through there. So it's important that the guard line is in there so that the ducting can't drop down and rub on the tire, because then he won't have a sealed snorkel. And then we'll have a big truck. Yay. Um, so it's not very sealed, but it's... It's on-ish. It needs more zip ties and things when you're home. a video of the extensive damage you did to no, but I'm about to take a video of those bad boys. That's right, twin turbos. GT15, um, turbo make, words. Make them make the noise. Stuff. Make it do the, 
the oh, spooling. Like custom made blog spooling. Oh, sounds so good. Wait, give us a real good one. Oh. Yeah. Get off. I, I think the phrase we need is she'll be right. It's that. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we are back home. We've got the truck back. Um, basically what ended up happening was the river completely dried up. Crazy to think that we were in deep water and then half an hour later we were driving up a, driving down, sorry, driving down a dry riverbed. Um, so yeah, we just headed home, grabbed some Maccas, which I very cleverly spilt my whole raspberry all over myself. I know Matt took a photo, I'll try to stick it in here if he, uh, if he still has it. Um, but yeah, it was an awesome day, really enjoyed it. Great to get the truck in some deep water and they say petrols don't like deep water, but we didn't have one cough or splutter today, so change from last weekend, but the truck did great, um, I loved it anyway. Stay tuned, there'll be more on this truck you see here coming up, my daily driver. Um, we've got a lot of stuff happening on that. Um, comp truck, heaps happening on that as well. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed the video, I hate saying this, but if you did enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up, it's super appreciated. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all, so thanks guys, cheers.